Hey guys, welcome to Almost Inevitable Design and today this is another tutorial, video tutorial on how to edit the header. This time it's uh, making a really cool kind of header. A friend of mine asked me to do this, uh, if I can make a video or a tutorial on this. So here we are. Now what he wanted was a separate line under um, the main header part. And he wanted to add some blurbs like um, phone numbers or open and close times or taglines, you know, that kind of stuff. And maybe a call to action button over here. Okay, so he wanted to do that and have it alongside the logo like this and uh, another line on the bottom. Um, and of course, in case you use the search button, I have also uh, built this tutorial to you know have a properly functioning search button okay so um, explaining how everything works takes quite a bit of time and uh, yeah it's it's pretty advanced in how you have to uh, build everything but um, oh yeah by the way just a little plug I am currently recording a whole new video series a lecture a course actually a course on CSS now it's um it's aimed at beginners uh, but it does start from and it does start from the basics all the way to pretty advanced um, so hopefully uh, keep tabs on what I'm doing and drop by sometime and you will probably see a new course uh, up soon and um, yeah hope you like it anyways so this is not done with just simple CSS it's it's a little more complicated than that, so uh, I'll show you. What, I'll show you how this works. Now, here is the default temp, uh, header PHP file. Uh, in case you haven't uh, noticed by now, I always use a child theme, and you should always use a child theme, even if whatever you think doesn't matter. You should use a child theme. Anyways, um, so this is this child theme is just you know a mess because I I always use this to make all my um, a lot of my videos and. Uh, I edit this a lot. Anyways, so this is the default header, and you will oops, and you will see this header um, when you make a new child theme. Of course, you got to move this header PHP from Divi to the child theme so you can edit it. Okay, um, and what you need to do is go all the way down to. Let's see. Um, I think it was, I wrote it, wrote the notes, here's 200, line 230, 229, okay. Now, we're going to add another div in here, because what we need to do is we need to split this up, all right? So, we want to take this guy, split it up, and push this whole section down to a new line, like this, right? So we're going to do that, okay? Uh, that means that you need to add a new div here. And in this case, we're going to do, we're going to call this row upper. Oops. oops. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Of course, later on, it looks better if you, you know, indent it properly. But just so you can see where it is, I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, now that's uh, in line 230. Add that. Currently, I'm using Divi 3.19.17. Uh, it probably header, headers don't change that often, so it'll probably work. But just in case it changed and it's not in 230, um, underneath header ID main header, and then you'll see the container and ET menu container. All right, this is where you need to split it up because uh, here, if you look at how it's built. ET main contain container. This is how it's built, and you need to split this guy and this guy. All right. So just so you see where we're, what we're talking about, you need to split this guy and this guy. All right. We're gonna split it down the middle and then stack it. All right. So, oh, oh where to where to go? All right. So two thirty, and we're gonna go all the way down to two fifty five, and in two fifty six, we're gonna add.
class uh, column left. All right, now why are we doing this? Because we want to add another column here. Then why do we need an? Then why are we not defining this column? Well, because um, the divi header actually has its own uh, div there. It's called logo container, but it's not styled to act like a, a column yet. So we're going to do that later. Okay. Now uh, add column left here, and then we're going to add the content in a second. All right. So for now, we're going to close this off, all right, and add a new, oh, that's right, close off row upper, and then start a new row. So that's div class row lower. All right, there we go. And that is closed off when you go all the way down to 300. It's going to be pushed down from the original number, so now it will be 316. All right, so just where this finishes off, et top navigation. Right, so if you look here, uh, row lower starts right above et top navigation, and we're going to close off et top navigation, and then right here between that and container, we're going to close off that div. So now we have two layers. Okay, all right, so. We do that. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new layout. Now, this layout I already made. It's called header insert, and this is just a row. So, in your layouts, you need to add new. Okay, and add new and make a row, just a row. All right, so you can do that like this. If you go here, you click on add new click row, give it a name, and then submit. Cool. So here we go. So this is a row. It's just a row. And you can put in a couple columns. I put in just FFF. Doesn't really matter. You can style it however you want. And of course, if you want it uh, thinner uh, in height, of course, you can change uh, the paddings and margins or style it with CSS, whatever you want to do, but this is just a row. You can make four columns if you want. You can add whatever you want, but just make sure that it, it's not too deep, so it'll just widen up the, the header, okay? All right, so, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, so the reason why I mentioned this is because in my child theme, the child theme that I actually have, and I give out for free, on my website is a child theme that, um, let's see, let's find that child theme. Oh, I must have pushed it back. Ah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link somewhere, but um, the child theme, there we go. Yeah, the first, the first one. So there's a free child theme here that you can download. It'll work with the latest Divi and what it allows you to do is allows you to use a short code. All right. Now, if you don't know how to do this, you can use a child theme or you can find the one about custom footers. Here we go. So you can take this or, oh, here we go. Every layout is a short code. And of course, these links are going to be in the uh, description and um, the blog post itself. So this is how you can make everything into a short code like this, as you can see, right? So that's what we have here. We take this short code and then we insert it in here where we left off, okay? Now here, we're gonna add it like this. Open bracket, PHP, question mark, PHP. Echo means print in PHP. Uh, do sh sh short code open parentheses, quotation marks, and this. Copy that, paste it here. There we go. And semicolon, question mark, close bracket, save. And you will get this, as you can see, FFF, FFF. Cool. And of course, your primary menu is over here, and your search is over here. Will this work with everything? 
No, it won't work without proper styling. And it took quite a bit of styling to get this to work because um, uh, it's, uh, Divi is pretty stubborn in how it, it works. So it, it took a while for me to get this to work. And here we go. So you take this, I'll add this file, and you can take this and you can uh, uh, just save it into your child theme or add it into uh, Divi theme options and it'll work. Now, this line here, if you want it to stay inside the container, what you need to do is not use this pseudo element, but just add a border here. All right, so it should be a border top one pixel solid red or whatever. All right, so that, that means that it will be the width of the container. You can do that if you want. Uh, if you want it to go all the way, just use this thing that comes after it before. All right, so if you don't want to use this, delete this part and use the border. If you do want to use it, just leave it as is and that's fine. Okay, all right, so I think that'll be enough. And also, of course, it's, um, I made it so it'll work on mobile like this. So this works, yep, and that works. These, you'll have to figure out how to what to do with these yourself. Um, you can hide them, you can have only one showing or whatever, but for now, this is up to you. This is your uh, uh, row, so you know I can't tell you what to do with that. So, yep. And of course, as you can see, the search bar works well. It doesn't shoot out here or there. Yeah, it took me quite a while to get this to work. Yeah. All right. So um, there you go. I will have the header PHP file as a download and also the CSS file as a download. You can either enqueue it in your child theme or you can add it to your child theme or you can put it in theme options and it'll still load uh, or customizer options. It's all up to you as long as the CSS works on the front end and um, you know uh, the PHP file is there and you add uh, everything as I mentioned the classes because you can't change this because that's how I built it the CSS okay all right so have fun with that and um, maybe I'll see you in another video and stay uh, stay tuned for my CSS course okay all right see you in another video bye bye